Ever since I was a young girl, I have loved the ocean. Growing up in Miami made this very easy, and it became something that was just a part of my everyday life. When I was 12, I got open water scuba certified, and now I am rescue diver certified. Although I live in Miami, I typically dive in Key Largo, which has the only barrier reef in the continental United States. Key Largo is home to some of the most beautiful coral reefs around the globe, and I am so lucky that it is only an hour away from my house. I have been diving there now for eight years, and I've had some of the most amazing experiences there. From seeing my first sharks underwater, to seeing cool creatures like flamingo tongue snails that I never thought I could ever see in person. With every dive, I would learn something new, see something I had never seen before, or experience something entirely different from my previous dives. I have adventured through wrecks, wrecks of ships that have crashed along the Key Largo shores, as well as explored many coral reefs that are now protected and are a part of Key Largo's marine sanctuary. Having the ability to freely explore these environments without the restriction of needing to jet to the surface for air is something that is truly remarkable to me, and I would not trade it for the world. Underwater, in Key Largo, there are no voices, no loud noises of a city, no stress, just the peaceful sound of bubbles rising from your tank, many curious critters, and the beautiful blue landscape surrounding you. As my passion for diving has advanced over the years, so has my perception of our world's oceans and their apparent need for protection. I would never want anything to happen to the amazing creatures I have had the privilege of interacting with underwater or the ecosystems they live in. Unfortunately though, they are already being very negatively impacted. Over the summer, I had the amazing opportunity to volunteer with the Coral Restoration Foundation, also known as CRF. CRF is a nonprofit organization that assists in the conservation of our oceans through the restoration of coral reefs. They have offshore coral nurseries that enable corals, which were once prominent in the Keys, to grow and develop, and after reaching maturity, they are outplanted onto the reefs by their dive team. This promotes the growth of more balanced, healthy reefs, the way they used to be before the negative impacts of anthropomorphic activities such as pollution and climate change began. I had the incredible opportunity to actually help CRF with this work, and I was able to plant coral and maintain their nurseries myself when I volunteered with them over the summer. We as stewards of our earth need to take responsibility and make efforts to try to reverse the damages that we have caused to our seas. This is how my experience in scuba diving has made me more aware of the needs of our oceans and I have found my other passion of what I want to dedicate my life and career to, ocean conservation.